Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at energy reaction profiles for endothermic and exothermic reactions. Nice and simply then, a reaction profile shows you the energy of the reactants and the products and the activation energy needed to get that reaction going. And from that, you can work out whether you have an exothermic or an endothermic reaction. So if we start off with exothermic then, if we have a look here, I've put some energy for my reactants and you should be able to remember that exothermic means energy is given out to the surroundings. Now what that means is the products themselves will have less energy. So when you draw your graph, the actual graph itself will have less energy on it. Now, as you also should remember from a previous video, that you have to start the reaction off somehow, and that's by adding energy into it, which you can see here, and that energy is called the activation energy, which I've labeled on my graph. Now, to work out whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic overall, you work out the energy change, which we can see here is negative, it's gone down, therefore energy has been given out, which makes it exothermic. And as you can probably guess, it's exactly the opposite for an endothermic reaction. So if I draw my energy on, put my reactants on, draw my activation energy, and then we'll see, because the definition of endothermic is energy taken in from the surroundings, you will see that the products have more energy than the reactants. The change in energy is therefore positive, and therefore it's taken in, and therefore it is endothermic overall. Right, let's have a look at what the examiner can ask you on this then. So I've just got the one question, which says, look at the graph to the right, label the activation energy on the diagram, that should now be nice and easy, and then explain whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic by looking at the energy change of it. Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's have a look at the answers then. So it says, look at the graph to the right, label the activation energy on. You should realise that the activation energy is this here, so anywhere labeling to there, activation energy. That's gonna get you your first mark. Part B, explain whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. So as you can see from here, it's a negative change. If it's negative, it's going to be exothermic. So one mark for that. And then your explanation, which is the products have less energy than the reactants or energy has been given out to the surroundings. Either of those would have got you your second mark. And that really is everything there is to know about these reaction profiles. There is a review question which is doing pretty much the same thing, but this time for a different graph. So it says, look at the graph to the right. What is the activation energy for this reaction? So read off the graph and then explain whether this reaction is exothermic or endothermic again. And that's everything you need to know. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, click on like down below. You can have a look at the latest video, you can visit the website, and you can also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye now.